Yeah, fine. We'd obviously um, Stephen back training, now, which is great. We'd obviously Martin Skirtle that took the injury and we had to come off against Blackburn. So, uh, so all the procedures in terms of his uh, gradual integration into the group is is fine. So he should be available. But we'll monitor that again to make sure that everything is safe and secure with his wellness to to play in the game. But it should be fine. Um, Jose Enrique has been in and out of, of training, so we'll monitor him over the next couple of games. Great news, young John Flanagan's back in training with the group, which is great. So, But again, having to just gradually introduce him into the training. So, um, And Joe Allen, um, back and fit and, and well. So, uh, so yeah, the, the injury is starting to return. Uh, it'll be useful, won't it, to have players starting to come back and, and fit again for what is going to be, I'm sure, a very exciting running. What's, what's your assessment of the, the race for the, the top four spots? I think it's going to be very tight. Of course, if you look at the teams, uh, a number of the teams actually, of course, have been up there for a lot of the season. Um, we've rejoined the race for that in the last three months, and but we're we're really looking forward to these remaining games now. Um, everything counts in the games. You know, we just need to ensure we continue to be aggressive in our game, and uh, and give everything that we have. Between now and the end of the season, so uh, but as, as you see, the points total is all very close and all very tight. But for ourselves, we we just have to focus on the next game, and and we know we we need to continue playing and working as hard as we have been. And that next game, this Swansea at home, we've been in a, a good run this season. I think it's what three defeats in fourteen games so far this season. Yeah, no, they're very very good side. As you see, they've been in the top ten for all of the season and right up there. So. Um, Young Gary has done a great job there. Yeah. Swansea is a place that I've got a great affinity for. You know, I'd spent two years there, and the, the football club welcomed me straight away. You know, Hugh Jenkins and the board were were amazing for me. They gave me great freedom to work. Um, and then outside of that, the people of the city and beyond were were so welcoming for me, and I had a wonderful time there. So I have a great affinity and like to see the club do well. And they've been doing brilliant, very much an established team. I think the first three years you try to establish yourself as a club into the into the Barclays Premier League and they've done that and more than done that. Um, they've continued with the sequence of, of managers seamlessly and, and obviously Gary's been given an opportunity there. But I deserve an opportunity. He's, he's a guy that's studied the game. He's played with the club right the way through all the levels. So always been very studious, you know, in the final years of his career as a player when he was there, when I was there as a manager. Um, we would talk a lot on football and tactics and, and he's had a unique experience really for, for a player in terms of coming through all the levels but also played and worked under different managers. Similar philosophies but different ways of managing and dealing, so, and dealing with players and people and he's had the, the opportunity to see that. And now he's gone in as a manager and is able to implement his own ideas with the experiences that he's gained. And and I think that, of course, it is very difficult coming in to the level that he's at. But I think he's dealt remarkably well with it. And, uh, and he's going to go on and be an outstanding manager.